How many of you who have millennial employees have heard from one of their parents at work? I have been speaking on this topic for seven years. I'm sometimes brought in to work with senior executives, like Johnson & Johnson had me come in to sit with senior vice presidents and executives in a small conference room of just 10 people to talk about this stuff, okay? And there's other times where I have audiences of two, three, four thousand people at main conferences. Even with small audiences, when I've asked that question, I am running as of you raising your hand, sometimes it might just be one hand, sometimes it might be half the room. At a 100% run rate of someone raising their hand because a millennial's parent, someone like my age or a little older, has called on behalf of like their 25-year-old son or daughter. Okay? With things like, you know, this is Mrs. Henderson, and... Um, Denisha works so hard for you. <laughs> and uh, I'm calling because, you know, she came home from work last night because, y'all, she still lives at home. Anyway, so, like, you know, the millennials get a bad rap for that. Which is actually, hey, the millennials, it is now considered a smart financial decision to stay living at home, right? Where I, after you graduated college, I shipped like five girls into a two-bedroom apartment because if you went home after graduation, you were like a loser, right? And millennials, the parents are like, no, stay. And they're like, okay. So, they're all buds. It's true. It's true. You hear about it all the time. I see, I see it all the time. So anyway, so it's calls like that going, you know, she worked so hard for you, and she came home last night, and she told her and dad, or her and her other mom, whatever the family dynamic is, that um, she didn't get that promotion, and that other boy did. Okay, so here's the response. Okay. That's great. Thank you for calling. However, it's illegal for me to speak with you because your child is over the age of 18. Bye-bye. Okay? I bring it up in a funny context because I have got hundreds. I'm actually thinking of making my fifth book on the topic of helicopter parents. From all the stories that I hear all the time. People email them to me. People, I mean, constantly. Constantly. I've got funny ones, I've got ridiculous ones, I've got sad ones, I've got like, what the ones? I mean, you name it, I've heard it. Here's what's important, and here's what's important for Felicia, and everybody in here, and you've got to tell your managers, because even though not a lot of you raised your hand when I asked that question, the odds are going to start increasing that there, it's going to happen. They're doing it everywhere. I wouldn't be bringing it up if it had just been like one or two funny stories I've heard in the last six years. It's every single time I do a speaking engagement, anywhere in the country, in any industry, as well as when I've spoken in places like Brunei and Brazil. I have worked, this is going to crack you up, I have worked with companies to help them put in a policy, here we go, HR, into the employee handbook for college recruits, new college recruits in their onboarding, you ready? For them to take home to their parents to read and sign that outlines the rules of what their parents can or cannot do once their kid starts working there. Right? I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. And if your managers aren't aware of this and don't handle a call properly like that because they're blindsided and they're like, maybe have an irate mother or irate father and they're thrown off guard and they're like, well, I'm really sorry, but you know what? She just wasn't as qualified as the other person. It's, I know, but someone is thrown blindsided. Trust me, there's, legal, there's lawsuits going on right now because of exactly what I'm telling you. You've got to warn them. Warn your people. Warn your people that this could happen and let them know the appropriate response. Otherwise, you could find yourself in court with Juniper under a huge legal employment issue. Huge. And as you, the boss, your butt would be on the line just as much as your managers, just as much as the company. Okay? I bring it up because it's that prevalent. When will they adapt? They won't. Deal with it. 